well, well. Mr. Turner. You say Celtic? Okay. Mr. Turner, how would it be possible for a man of advanced years, such as yourself, to rush from his bed to the window in a matter of seconds, as you have stated? Well, uh, I'm, I'm able to move very quickly, despite my age, and when the situation requires it, Mr. Holmes. Really? I highly doubt that, Mr. Turner. I observe that you suffer a severe limp due to your injured right leg. It would have taken at least ten seconds for you to approach the window. That means you could have easily missed something or someone in Half Moon Street during that time. You're right, Mr. Holmes. I could have missed something. But it did seem to me that everything happened so quickly. Oh, time can pull tricks on you. Hey, Kagome Fantasy. I love these games too. We already played The Devil's Daughter. We did. And now it's this one. This is the one before that. And there's a new one coming as well. Eee. And what of everything else that you told us? Mr. Turner, it is vital that we have your complete and true statement. Mr. Holmes, I do assure you that the other things I said were most sincere. <laughs> Mr. Turner, you were not sincere with me. Not then, and not now. But, but, but Mr. Holmes... This, Mr. <laughs> Turner, does not look like anything that a poor man might possess. It is worth more than the home that you live in. I, I can explain. Can you? No, merely correct me if I am wrong. You saw Leighton Chapman through the window. But you also noticed a glittering object on the ground. This precious jewel. You walked down and took the bracelet from the body of Kenneth Butler. And when you heard the whistles, you hurried away. That broke your walking stick. It caught fast between the cobbles. Constable Marrow was unable to see you in the window as you were climbing up the stairs on your way back to your flat. Upon returning home, you hid the precious jewel inside a book. Mr. Holmes, please don't send me to prison. I didn't do anything bad. I'm just a poor man. When I chanced upon the bracelet, I saw it as an opportunity to make a little money. I was desperate. I only took the bracelet, that's all I swear. <sighs> you made a mistake by lying to me. But you are not a criminal. I believe that. Although I must return this bracelet to its rightful owner. Yeah, Devil's Daughter is amazing. I, uh... I do think that they made the Devil's Daughter even better. I love this one, but they learned from this game and they added a few things in the next one. And I really can't wait for their new game. See what they did. I already said I'm not really a fan of those quick actions. They could have done something different with that. Um, but it's fine. It's part of this game and it it's fine. Hmm. So that's it then. Okay. Why would you even take that risk? Seeing that from your window, then go all the way downstairs with a limp, might I add. Go over there, steal it, and then go back. Boy, oh boy. It would be my pleasure to assist you with your investigation, Mr. Holmes. Indeed. Money? Yeah, of course, but that's a big risk. Hey, King Allah! I was offline already? Oh, no. Ugh, I do have to eat. Oh, stretching. Sorry. Ooh. Good lord. But hi. <laughs> Uh. Mr. Holmes. Hi. Whatever brings you here so late at night? Things. I'm interested in the case of young Leighton Chapman. He was arrested earlier this evening and accused of a double murder. I beg your pardon? <laughs> that case is quite clear to the police. 
Or are there any new facts that we don't know about? <laughs> Who knows, Inspector? Look, you are free to investigate, of course, Mr. Holmes. Chapman was arrested with a revolver in his possession, which you can find in the evidence room. The suspect himself is in custody. Did you find anything else on his person? A few personal belongings. Nothing particular, Mr. Holmes. Thank you, Lestrade. Hmm. Okay. Shapes of noses. <laughs> okay, let's see. Oh, I was carrying an apple. <laughs> These cigarettes are filled with cheap tobacco. Nothing interesting. A cheap watch. Bought with his own money, no doubt. So this is the gun that Leighton was holding when he was caught by the police. It is a Webley revolver. A reliable weapon. Good to know. But was it... Discharged. Don't look in the gun. But is it working, chat? Is it? <laughs> and it seems as though the shells were not removed from the cylinder. Oh. Don't ever do that, by the way. Ever. Oh. Hmm. Pulls <laughs> trigger to see. Ah, gee, I wonder what happened. Two out of the six shells have been fired. There were two shots. Yes. That doesn't mean that those were the two shots that murdered people, though. <clears throat> Double murder. Kenneth Butler and Brian Vercotti were the victims of a double murder carried out by only one person. Uh, well, I am. There we go. Simultaneous shots. Oh, oh no, 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 no. Uh, Turner could hear the contrast between two fired shots as, in fact, Three shots were made. At first, a single shot was fired, and then two guns fired sim simultaneously directly afterwards. Uh, Turner could hear the contrast between two fired shots as they were made from different points. Yeah, no, I like this. <laughs> hey, Cookie! Compelling evidence, the witness testimonies, and the crime weapon clearly points to one possible culprit, Leighton Chapman. For now. For now. Oh, oh. Yeah, okay. <sighs> well, well, well. Let's chalk. We just got freezing and icy roads. Oh. Hi. Oh, you look sweet. Please escort this suspect for interrogation. Good evening, Mr. Chapman. Hello. Who are you? I've got nothing to say. It's all a mistake. Calm down, Leighton. I have come here to help you. To find out if you truly are innocent, as your younger brother Wiggins has told me. <laughs> My brother? You know him? Yep. Then that means you're... Yep. Sherlock Holmes. <laughs> oh, blimey. 
All right, Mr. Rhymes. I'll tell you everything. It's good to have friends. There we go. Hmm, there's something obvious. But I can't put my finger on it. Hmm. Well, well, well. I don't know. What do we want to find? Is it his nose? I don't know. I just... Hmm. It's ear? No. Oh, goodness. I don't know. It's, it's like it's staring right at me and I don't... <laughs> Sorry. Oh. What? What's with your riding? Oh, right. He was beaten. Well, that's not okay. Oh, he has a nice job. Good for him. Oh. Oh, no. That's bad. Good. Tell me your account of what happened. I left my work, and I hurried up to see the fireworks in Whitechapel. I was late, so I decided to cut through off Moon Street. I saw the first fireworks light up in the sky. I bumped into a constable on a corner before entering off Moon. Then suddenly, what with all the firework flare, I saw two men. They were both lying flat in the middle of the street. I stopped where I was. I, I thought about turning back to the police, but as I was thinking of that, I saw a fur person. He was leaning over the body that was furthest from me. The second I saw him, he raised his head and he stared at me. In a flash, I saw his gun, but he made a dash for it instead and he escaped through Whitechapel Street. What? So you might still have had time to return to the constable. I panicked. I, I didn't know what to do. Anyway, I, I approached the bodies just to see if they were still alive. I saw that one had blood pumping out of his stomach. He was oh. dying. It was horrible. The second one was already dead. He had a hole in his head. He was holding a gun in his hand, though. I took it. And then I followed the third man. Interesting. Pray, continue. I turned the corner, and I saw the man standing in the middle of the street. He seemed to be in some, some sort of panic. And then, Mr. Holmes, something strange happened. I told the police, and they laughed at what I said, but I swear to you, my words are true. I started running towards him. But then I was blinded by a flash. It was so bright that I, I hardly saw anything for a good dozen seconds. But I kept running forward. As I arrived in Whitechapel, I heard a woman screaming. And then I was caught by the police. But there wasn't a trace of that man. Of course, then they found a gun and all that blood. I couldn't see the murderer escaping and all that mess. Perhaps I was still half-blinded at that moment. A thrilling account, my young man. Layton, are you able to describe the person whom you saw standing in Half Moon Street? Well, I wasn't able to see his face at all. It was too dark, and he was too far away. I could see his silhouette. Hmm. And what about that? Nothing so special. He, he was wearing a jacket. He was quite average in, in size and his weight. I see. Was there anything else that struck you at the time? No. But perhaps it's strange, but... I can't remember the sound of his footsteps as he was running away. Perhaps it was because of the fireworks or, or the surprise of me seeing him. What? Leighton, I confess I am puzzled. Why should a young lad like you take a gun from the hands of a dead man and set off in pursuit of a probable killer? I oh, know. I keep wondering that, but at the time it was, it was like a reflex. A criminal ought to be arrested. And he was armed. You were willing to risk your life. That was a little foolish. Unless you wanted revenge. <laughs> no, Mr. Rams. I was just being brave and stupid.
I'm sure that you were, but I believe that you may have recognized one of the victims, Brian Vercotti. You knew that gentleman well, did you not? How? How ever could you know that? Well... You have a typical tattoo of the Westgate Brotherhood upon your hand. I observed exactly the same mark upon Mr. Vercotti. You came to know him from your sharing a past prison sentence. Am I correct, Mr. Chapman? Oh, God. You're right, Mr. Holmes. <laughs> yes, you can't hide that from me. <laughs> Would you tell me a little about Brian Vercotti? <clears throat> we were convicted for a robbery. Once in prison, both of us joined one of these fraternities. During that year, we tried to help each other out, you know? Now, you were quite young then, I believe. Yes, Mr. Holmes, we were. We'd only stolen a pound of meat. After we were released and when I saw what my little brother had become, I decided to work towards living an honest life. And Vercotti? He had a hard time. His sister had died in a Whitechapel dispensary while he was in prison. He had no family anymore. Our path split. He fell back into crime. So you lost him? Yes. And for around two years, I... Heard no news of him at all. Hmm. We shall see you soon, young man. Interesting. <laughs> These games just work. Dolly is good at Among Us. What? Me? Little of me. What? <laughs> Is she though? Hey! <laughs> I just panic. Don't you worry. Imaginary man. The person whom Leighton Chapman describes in his statement is a figment of his own imagination created to vindicate himself. I don't believe that. Personal motive. The violent crime committed in Half Moon Street by Leighton Chapman could have had a personal motive. Maybe. <gasps> Melon! Hi! This is not it, right? No. Okay. Well, well, well. To the archives, I say. Examine the dead bodies and perform a reenactment. Are they here? You've been lurking. <gasps> Lurkasaur. <laughs> that is totally fine. Uh, not here. Okay. Uh, you know what? Let's go here first. Auto mod, you are weird. Can you be a lurker short too? Sure, Vlosk. Of course you can. You can all be a lurker short. Uh, archives. Da 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 Art, science, technology, history. Greek history. That is not the one I need. What? You say it was Greek? That is not the one I need. That is not the one I need. That is not the one I need. What? That is not the one I need. Oh. <laughs> Wait, but that's, you're, you said it was Grecian. That's in botany. History, technology. Science art? No. Huh? What? You 
super into dinosaurs, or is it just for Twitch? Um, well, I do like dinosaurs, but, well, you know, if, if you are one, then, you know, <laughs> interest is a little bit implied. I don't know much about dinosaurs, though. <laughs> to be fair. So what is it I need? this that is not the one I need well I don't know <sighs> okay it is not chemistry it's not toxins it's not injuries it's not criminalistics Antique, antique art book? Uh, maybe. Boxing. The noble arts. I did some boxing today. That was fun. Yeah, okay. Maybe it is... Um, really, Kingala? What? That is very impressive. Oh, hold on. What? Why not dynamite? That is not the one I need. No, but I want to read that. Oh, wait. The typewriter is the future. You didn't know that yet, chat. But it is. <laughs> that is not the one I need. I am confused. <sighs> what? Oh, no, 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 no. But I want to exit. No. Okay. Is that Grecian? I'm blind? Probably. Uh. Oh! <laughs> okay. <sighs> These beautiful antique jewels represent a part of the Hellenistic treasures collection. Depicted are the five heads of mountain rams upon a bracelet, necklace, and ring, each made of pure gold. The five rams of Mytilene have been missing from the museum since 1885. Here it is. I need to continue my research in my archives. Yes, you do. Treasures theft. The Hellenistic treasures were stolen yesterday evening while being transported by cab on their way from the British Museum to the Glassford Fine Art Exhibition. Pawn shop owner Kenneth Butler contacted Scotland Yard that night and provided information regarding a gentleman who had attempted to sell him a collection of historical art at his pawn shop in Church Street. <gasps> Gasp! The police have since captured the described man, a professional thief by the name of Vincent Foley, who had been in the process of escaping London via the port. He was recognised by the surviving driver of the cab that had transported the collection of Hellenistic treasures. Vincent Foley refused to confess as to where the remainder of the treasures were hidden. He was eventually imprisoned, and the lost treasures are still to be found. Dun dun dun! Whoa! <laughs> <laughs> it's a raid! Hi, Ragnaros! <laughs> that, was, that was perfect timing! <laughs> Thank you so much! Oh, oh boy! What are you playing? Can we have it? Can we have a shout out for for <laughs> for Ragnaros, please? Also, it's a raid. Please defend the fort with cookies. Not with swords. Care Snesu, you know better. <laughs> Thank you, little dark son. Oh, you're playing Neo. All oh, right. 
I knew that. Oh, well. <laughs> then love. Now, I gave him cookies and wrapped them in blankets. That's how we do it. Not, no violence. Violence is for after the stream. You know, when we raid someone else. <laughs> anyway, hi everyone. Hi, we were deep into a mystery of, um, well, Sherlock Holmes. <laughs> I'll take a cookie. You can have a cookie. Yes, you can. Hold there on. There it is. One of the victims, Kenneth Butler, was involved in the story of the stolen Hellenistic treasures. A visit to his pawn shop should tell me more. Yes, going to the pawn shop. Anyway, hi, I'm Dolly. <laughs> we were just talking hi. about dinosaurs. Ah, uh, Sumerai, thank you for gifting this up to Ragnaros. Sumerai, that is very sweet of you. And Ragnaros, enjoy your tiny dino emotes. Yeah. <laughs> Um, I am all over the place right now. Thank you for the raid. The perfectly timed raid. Thank you. <laughs> uh, but yeah, we're playing Sherlock Holmes and we are in the last mystery. Um, there was a double murder in a dark alley. And, well, the person they arrested, we don't believe that he is the culprit. So, uh, and there's also treasure involved. Yes! Yeah. Thank you, Sumurai. Sipping? I should sip. I should. Mm. Oh. <clears throat> and this game is beautiful. Is that the pawn shop? Or is. Oh, it's a. No. Hello. Hi, who are you? you did, did you lose something? Murder? Treasure? I know, right? No, not go over there. Okay. <gasps> Should we go over here, chat? It sounds fun inside. Can we go? No. Let me in. I want beer. Or wine or whatever. I want a drink. Please. Hello. Can anyone open the door? It seems to be stuck. Oh, man. <laughs> Sir, can you open the door for me? Hey, you look like that sailor that we, uh... Saved... Saved life. Okay, anyway. <laughs> Did I get the ups in the PC? What? What ups? Oh, this is it. Yoo-hoo! Uh, Okay, I'll use the key. Mr. Butler's key matches the lock perfectly. Well, well, well. Is it arm wrestle? No! <laughs> Don't make me. <laughs> oh, that was a thing. I'm so good at arm wrestling. Crampons Ooh. and a sharp ice axe would only be brought here by a mountaineer. Thank you for the information. Oh! That's an object of interest? Well, what are we gonna do? Anything on the counter? No. Excuse me while I'll loot the place. <gasps> cute! Can I have those? I'll take those. Those cute little cups. Better stuff on the computer. Oh, no. No, 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 no. But, I do, uh, I did get news from the, um, IRS. A flare pistol. Perhaps it was pawned by a destitute sailor. Hmm. And it was good news, so, yeah. But I still have to wait. With the uh, computer stuff. Not yet. Okay, that's it. Oh, I, I see. 